Let's get straight to it. We're going to be sharing with you all the software, the apps, and the little things on our computers that help us make videos, uh, memes, and help us scroll around on the internet. And we're going to share that with you so you can hopefully benefit from it. Uh, please don't let go of your day job if you still have it. We're also trying to figure out what to do with our lives and how to make money. And uh, hopefully this will help some people. Keep in mind that some software will work for you, some may not. Yeah, and uh, it would be great if people also share their recommendations in the comments so that we can all uh, yeah. make terrible videos yeah. for the internet. Ah, this is going to be now a list of all the software we talk about in this video so that you, if you don't want to, you don't have to sit around listening to two jackasses discuss uh, apps and software in detail. This is everything. DaVinci Resolve, Vegas, Power Director, Action Director, Handbrake, Background Eraser, In Shot, AZ Screen Recorder, Dolby On, Images to Video, Wavelet, Headphone Specific Equalization, Open Camera, USB Audio Recorder Pro, Snap Camera, OBS Studio, Studio, Streamlabs OBS. Links and names of everything will be in the description. If you're not into making videos, then you're probably not going to enjoy the rest of this video. So whoever you are, you've been warned. We have too much of free internet, so we've decided to do this. <laughs> My advice would be to start off with, don't uh, buy any software. You can, you can easily find something or the other that gets the job done and is usually freeware or shareware. Let's start with the free versions of software first. DaVinci Resolve is by Blackmagic Design. Go for it, Cyril. There is a free version of it. The good thing about Blackmagic Studio is it's also a renowned Black, software. Blackmagic uh, Design, sir. Sir, Blackmagic Design, it's called. Fine. <laughs> it's it's <a> company <laughs> called Blackmagic Design. All right, fine. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Let's start this from the beginning again. <laughs> <laughs> and and this is yeah. exactly what editing software is for. <laughs> if you're not on a live stream, then you can remove all this part. You can edit all this out. Okay, okay, okay. Cyril, what are you using to edit on the computer? Uh, well, I started off with uh, Sony Vegas, which is uh, one of my favorite go-to softwares and was bought recently by Magix. You know, time went by, I started moving towards Adobe Premiere Pro. But average user, I don't know, will should they? Because it'd be pretty expensive, no? But what I would recommend if you want a great starting software, Vegas is definitely the software to go and it's easy. So a lot of people think that Vegas is usually Vegas Pro or like the high-end version of Vegas, but there are tons of different versions of them. I started off with Vegas Movie Studio, which is like the cheaper version. It comes with all the effects and stuff, but it gets the job done. So I think mid-range computers can use something like that. I'm currently using Movie Studio from Magix. And it's awesome. And it's cheap also, right. as opposed to uh, if you were to buy like a Vegas Pro it would cost you way more or an Adobe Premiere would cost way more than if you were to buy these versions of the software. So that's something that you should look into if you're planning to get a video editing software. Get a demo and see whether it works well on your computer first. Or all the all of them have demos, right, Cyril? I mean, there's not a single one of them where you can't get a yeah. demo. So if you're insane and you are really rich and all, then you can do the Adobe Premiere. <laughs> the only reason I use Adobe Premiere is because of, you know, professional work and that workflow. Adobe Premiere is used by a lot of edit studios and a lot of agencies and it just becomes easier to exchange workflows with that software and hence that what it is. I'll just put it out there. DaVinci is just as advanced as Adobe Premiere Pro. Oh yeah, yeah. Tom Hanks was really good in that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's free. free. As in there's a free yeah. version. But I, I, just to summarize, I think Vegas is the way to go. Pretty much all uh, video editing is the train track method. These two train tracks and you keep splitting and cutting and moving things around. It's really simple. You can you can actually learn how to edit from YouTube videos. I'll uh, You can... Do that yourself by googling it so the free version of davinci is really really good a lot of people swear by it not only do you get like a really nice clean linear and light it's a very light software that works on most uh, editing machines but you also get some of the most professional and powerful grading software now i would not suggest jumping softwares too fast because each of these softwares have a different style different kind of tools to do certain things. And I think yeah, when yeah. I moved from Vegas, it took a little time to adjust because I was like, okay, you know, Vegas are so quick and, you know, light. And then Adobe Premiere Pro to DaVinci heavy, also yeah. has kind of, yeah. So I would suggest stick with one because then it just makes it easier for you to edit in the long run. But also at the same time, I would say that all editing software, the basics are pretty much the same. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, the principles are Editing, splitting, yeah. 
trim in trim out all yeah. the basics are pretty much the same so if you were to switch from one software to another it shouldn't be that tough also maybe later in this video i'll get to why you would use more than one software at a time i i have encountered a situation where i've needed more than one editing software we'll get into that later but right now we're just going to finish off all the recommendations so you can check out any of the vegas software davinci resolve power director uses the gpu and i found it i found it extremely versatile man when i first bought it i was like yeah, this, this the website looks a little like you know ki <laughs> they're trying to get you to sign up for something but actually it's a it's a legit software and it's really really powerful there are small things that happen which you when you get to the point you'll be like are how do i get past this now for example if you want better control over your audio you can choose separate channels right so like right now i'm recording this i've got cyril's audio on one channel i've got my audio on a second channel so whenever there are overlaps and we do have a lot of overlaps then i can <laughs> sort of manage that i can bring my volume down or bring his volume up or just cut out stuff all together and it doesn't affect each other's audio tracks here's the kicker now now after i record this i will have one video file with two audio tracks on it now in the version of power director that i have it doesn't take more than one audio track so what you would end up having to do is you'd have to take that video file make a copy of it but the second copy should have only the second audio track which is a major pain so to overcome stuff like this or even if you need to mess around with your videos like this you need to convert from one format to the other you need to move audio uh, layers back and forth get this handy little program it's called handbrake it lets you convert from different formats so oh, you can nice. remove audio tracks you can add audio tracks now if i have a file with multiple audio tracks i can't put it into power director but magic's movie studio which is vegas that handles more than one uh, audio track adobe uh, premiere pro gives you a lot of stuff to do text a lot of stuff to do graphics and overlays yeah, yeah, yeah. and please multiple. stop talking up about adobe nobody's going to buy adobe you crazy you don't want adobe we want cheaper da Vinci. versions of da stuff davinci 16 davinci yeah. 16 is absolutely free Just, yeah. just get it power director the suites come with <laughs> the suites not uh, sweet suites uh, you can do uh, image editing you can do audio editing they have a whole bunch of software if a stranger offers you suites <laughs> don't, don't accept them, it okay? <laughs> unless it's power director <laughs> suite like i said there won't be any jokes <laughs> oze um, oze let's let's conclude this part by what are you going to be editing this video on i will be editing this on movie studio so it's going to look shit <laughs> <laughs> very funny it's going to be great it's going to be fantastic i let it all your parts out so it'll be amazing and this is just stuff from our experiences i'm sure the comment section is going to be filled with people who have maybe even better suggestions and i hope you will leave a comment so that people can learn from you guys to edit on the phone and on the go i use action director which is a really good software pehla free wala batao na uske baad paisa wala batao tumko kya lagta hai hum log idhar matlab paise mein nach rahe kya No, no, read it in app yeah, purchase. It, uh, action directors by the same guys who made Power Director. This is what the basic interface looks like. So I had been using Power Director, which I found comes really close to like editing on a computer. If you were to connect a mouse to your phone, you can actually use a mouse to edit. Does Action Director let you uh, record voiceovers and stuff? Yes, it does. I think that's superb. Then you guys should definitely check out Power Director, check out Action Director, and then decide which one sounds better to you. If you don't buy stuff from the app, you can still manage, right? There's not, it's not necessary that you have to yeah, buy. Yeah, no, not necessary. In-app purchases are only if you want to add like, uh, uh, you know, text overlays. I mean, and they give you a free set already. So these are yeah, if you yeah, want exactly. more advanced ones or more colorful you ones. You can pretty it. much do everything without buying anything in-app. So there's this really nice uh, program. It's pretty old now. It's called Background Eraser. It's by Handy Closet Incorporated. So simple, and it works really, really well, man. And it saves the file as a transparent file. Then you can pull that into your video editing software, whether it's on your phone, whether it's on your computer, whatever it is. Over to you, Cyril. Let me just tell you. Yeah. Don't you always have problems when sometimes, say, you shot one video vertical, and in the next part you've gone and shot it horizontal. Okay. So there is a really powerful software which has a free version and, of course, a paid version called InShot. So just look for InShot Inc. Ah. That's the name of the company. Now, for instance, it's a vertical edit, yeah. All right, and in the crop, it lets me adjust to the frame nice. size that I want. It's got background changes, so if you want to change the background to, you know, 
uh, not the white, then you can oh, make nice. it like you know reflective to fill up that. that space. Okay, okay, the bands, not bad. Yeah, so you can do different bands and stuff like that. You can edit your music. You can add sound effects. You can record voiceover. Oh. I plan to use it to crop because I prefer Action Director. But uh, if got you're looking it, at it. a one-stop shop software, it's got a one-time purchase. So I think nineteen hundred bucks. It's really expensive. Wow. Uh, it like has a nice. monthly and a yearly subscription, but what it does is if you don't subscribe, puts the uh, watermark. watermark. But here's the cool thing: you can crop that out. <laughs> no, 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 you can't crop that out. What it'll do is it will offer you an option to watch an ad, and if you watch oh. the ad, it takes you the Not watermark. Not bad. Good one, Cyril. That's actually really useful. So my next recommendation is A Z Screen Recorder. A lot of phones come already with like their own pre-installed versions of, or, or some of the phones can do it natively where you can record the screen. But the reason I use AZ screen recorders because it lets you choose stuff like frame rates. It lets you choose resolution. There is one software by Dolby themselves called Dolby On. It gives you for more advanced users. Also gives you like a lot of raw format audio, so it gives you a lot of uncompressed audio. So if you want to play around with nice. it on your main edit studios. It um, is definitely worth the try. Dolby on. These are like app-based solutions. I mean, of course, having a specific microphone or having like hardware to do these things would be far, far better. So there's an app. It's a very, very small app, and I I ended up finding this because I needed it specifically for this use, which was to take like I had 200, 300 pictures, which I needed to convert into a time lapse, like a frame lapse kind of video. Now imagine pulling each mm. of those pictures into a software, and then putting it on your timeline, and then editing, and then rendering, and all. What a pain! Why isn't there an app for this? So much. then. But there is an app, and the app is called Images to Video. It's by Busy www. Fantastic little thing works so well. You can put in two hundred, three hundred pictures. Just bump it in there. Brrr, it converts it into a time lapse. I'm talking about an app called Wavelet Headphone Specific Equalization. It basically gives you this interface. Mm-hmm. It has over four thousand preset. Headphones equalization based on the headphone you pick. So, for instance, if you're using a QC35, it's got the optimal settings. Does this work over Bluetooth? I yeah, I will only be using it on Bluetooth at this point, oh, and not be using wow. it on wired. My next recommendation is something called Open Camera. It's by Mark Harman, not Ranvijay's brother. That's another Harman, but this is Mark Harman, and it's got a ton of customization, white balance, exposure. It tells you how much uh, space is left on your hard drive. If you connect a USB microphone to your phone and use it with this app, it will use the USB microphone as opposed to using the phone's microphone. I mentioned this app many times before in other videos that I've made. It's called USB Audio Recorder Pro. This is purely an audio app, okay? So USB Audio Recorder Pro lets you hook up a USB microphone, pretty much any USB microphone. It works really well with the uh, with the Blue Yeti, and it works flawlessly, and it gives you audio levels as well, which is extremely useful when you're recording audio and you m- want to make sure that your your audio is not clipping or peaking or going. Going way too high. Final app, okay. I learned about this through Cyril uh, when I was making my feedback video, and I needed to put filters <laughs> on there. Tech discussions. Ugh. Yeah, Cyril, of course, looks like he's from the anime Attack on Titan, where those monsters <laughs> come and eat little children and stuff like that. So you have to look for Snap Online. It is by Snapchat, and uh, it's available for for the MacBooks as well as for your PC, Windows. And the cool part about it is it, it's compatible with all your video chat softwares like Zoom. It's compatible with uh, Skype. It's compatible with anything. You just have to select the source. Uh, in the camera source, instead of choosing your web camera, you, you choose, choose the snap, snap camera. And ये सब अपना काम नहीं है. Let them figure out the details. We just told you what the software is. तुम लोग करो. Comments में झगड़ो. Before we end this video, always make sure you check where you're downloading your shit from. The snap camera you yeah. can find on snapcamera.snapchat.com. Thank you, everyone, for watching this. I've been wanting to make this for some time to sort of share the resources and share the information on what kind of stuff we use. Oh, dude, we forgot to mention two of the main softwares that we use: OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. OBS Studio is it feels a little lighter on the computer. Streamlabs OBS seems to be more feature-rich, which a lot of stuff already sorted out. So check out both these programs: OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. If you're into recording 
uh, your computer screen and want to record tutorials or record stuff on your computer or you want to stream live. But if your computer is a beast and can handle it, I would go with Streamlabs OBS because there's a ton of stuff you can do on there, uh, themes and widgets and whatnot. That's it. This is the video. We've only done four 45 minute uh, ses recording sessions to get you this <laughs> video. Remember, the universe of apps. Chalo, bye guys. So guys, I put a lot of work into this video. It was an unusual amount of time, uh, mostly because I uh, would wake up late and sleep and I just do nothing all day. But that's besides the point. If this video has been useful to you in any way, uh, please share it. Uh, you can press the like button. You can subscribe. Make sure your gas is turned off and your geezer is not running.